Mark chapter 7, verse 6. He answered and said unto them, Well, have Esaias prophesied of you hypocrites? It is written, This people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men? Not all commandments of men are evil. But when men's commandments are put above the, the commandments of God, you worship Jesus Christ in vain. If God said sex only between, marriage only between one man and one woman, and you agree with the world with sodomy marriage, you are worshiping Jesus Christ in vain and Jesus is calling you a hypocrite because your heart is far from him. You are honoring him with your lips, with your mouth, with your words, but not with your heart. Your heart is with the world. Your heart is with men and women's opinions about what they say about marriage. You agree with them. You do not agree with God. The person you agree with, your actions lines up with it sooner or later. Amen. Praise God. Jesus said, Thou shalt not murder. Do you agree with Jesus or your preacher or your leaders or the world or the media or your friends? Jesus said, Do not murder. So if you agree with killing babies and murdering babies in the womb, you have just insulted Jesus Christ. Your heart shows that you worship the world. Men's and women opinion instead of what Jesus said. Jesus said, do not murder. So if you agree with killing babies in the womb or outside the womb, you are a hypocrite. Jesus called you a hypocrite. How be it in vain, Jesus said, do they worship me? Teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. Many of the commandments of men and women are evil. If men's commandments tell you to Kill your babies is a woman's right, is her body, but they omit that before I knew you, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. The baby have rights too. They have a God-given right. The baby's bodies are their bodies. Quoted from a lady minister, which is rightly so. Amen. Praise God. The baby's body are the baby's body. They are God-given right to live. They have a soul just like you. Before I knew you, before I formed you in your mother's belly or womb, I knew you, say it, the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. So we don't want to be hypocrites. We want to be real. We don't want to be pretenders. Worshiping Jesus with our mouths, and we know what his, word, what his words say. Regardless of who the person is, that goes against it. It's wrong. When Jesus say murder is wrong, murder is wrong. When he say homosexuality, sodomy, marriage is wrong, it's wrong. We ought to agree with God. We ought to love people but not love sin. Amen. Praise God. So let us not be hypocrites. Let us not be hypocrites. Let us honor God with our heart too. Verse 7 again. I mean verse 6 again. Mark chapter 7. He answered and said unto them, Where well have Esau? Now Esau, that's, that's referring to Isaiah. Prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, These people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. What is a hypocrite? A hypocrite is a pretender to follow someone, but their heart is with someone else. That's a definition of a hypocrite, just one of the definitions, meaning of a hypocrite. God wants us to be real. God is looking at our hearts. We hear the saying again and again, God knows my heart. Yes, he knows your heart. He knows when the heart is evil and wicked and bitterness and full of hatred and lying. He knows when the heart is pure because he can make it pure. 
Amen. Hallelujah. He knows when the heart is washed clean because the blood of Jesus washes our hearts clean from sin and wickedness. Praise God. If you have been asked the Lord into your life, you need to do so now. Call on the name of Jesus and he will wash away your sins and wickedness. He will write your name in the Lamb Book of Life because God loved you so much that he sent his only begotten son to die a brutal death on the cross. To shed his blood, he took upon your punishment upon himself on the cross at Calvary. Call on Jesus now, and he will save you. God will become your father, and Jesus will become your Lord and Savior. And the Holy Spirit will come and live in you, and guide and teach you, and guide you to the right people that will help you to grow in your spiritual growth in Christ. Amen. God bless you.